me without further delay, formally declare the fourth Global Irish Economic Forum open. I've attended each of the forums and it's a really exciting gathering of business people all around the world. It's the network, it's the business opportunities, it's giving something back. But more than that, it's actually saying we're very proud to be Irish and we want to do whatever we can to help Ireland be a better nation in the future. We rarely get an opportunity to bring large, medium, small enterprises, government and, and education system and young or old outside the country, inside the country together and match it up. And when we do, extraordinary things happen. I was asked this year specifically to come so I could talk at the very start about the experience of being an expat. I'm looking forward to my own session where I will get an opportunity to thank people for the contribution they have made to Ireland. The people who come uh, to the forum here represent the Irish diaspora right around the world, including people who left Ireland during the difficult times, some of whom thankfully are now coming back. Really what I'm most interested in is hearing from Irish people based in Ireland and what sort of situations and problems that they might have and what sort of help that they might need from the diaspora. To understand the forum and to understand what we're looking for, we're a company of 128 countries and so we come here for contacts, we come here for ideas. What I'm hoping to get out of the forum is better understanding of other opportunities around the world that Irish diaspora are seeing in other countries and then to understand how that knowledge can be shared back into Ireland so the Irish government can take that and implement policy that will support entrepreneurship and business and ultimately the Irish economy. It's great to see so many important people here who are batting for Ireland both at home and abroad. The Irish economy is growing at an extremely fast rate, 6% growth this year, and equivalent growth anticipated for 2016-2017. The breadth of the speakers this, this time and the age diversity and the gender diversity is really quite exciting. I was talking about science, technology, engineering, art and maths. The highlight really has been there is a massive willingness for people here to contribute. I, like so many others out there, am the future of this country. We cannot become complacent and we need to ensure that every citizen, not just in Ireland but across the world, uh, is provided with the right tools to grow, learn and excel within their career. We should be empowering every individual with an ethos of independence, both within mind and physicality. I think the highlight of the forum has been the atmosphere. There's a great buzz, people who haven't met for some years, uh, people who, whose businesses have prospered since the forum, and a great engagement, offers of, of mentoring, offers of advice and assistance. I think it's been a brilliant opportunity to again build on the experience of so many Irish people who have returned here to Dublin Castle for these two days. Uh, I think it's really important that we recognise the time they've taken, the expense that they've gone to, the contribution that they want to make, but it's also recognition of how valuable that experience can be. The government now must translate that into reality and make changes that make it, make it easier for Ireland to connect internationally and for Ireland to do business both at home and abroad. So all in all, it's been a wonderful experience and we thank them all again.